regarding skin cancer, and of course, it can cause aging issues. Let's learn a little bit about it. We have our UVA and UVB rays. We're going to talk about the UVB rays first. That's layers of skin over there. We have the epidermis, where the hair grows out of, dermis, and the subcutaneous layer. All right. The chief cause of skin reddening and burning tends to damage the skin's more superficial epidermal layers. So that's like our sunburn, right? We start peeling and we get burnt, okay? It plays a key role in the development of skin cancer and a contributory role in tanning and photoaging, okay? So, it, you know, our skin turns tan. You know why it turns brown when we're in the sun? What's it trying to do? It's trying to protect itself. So you're freaking your body out when you go outside and you're laying out there for hours, it's like tan, because it's trying to cover itself up. It's not good for the, it's a protective mechanism that your body is doing, okay? Its intensity varies by season, location, and time of day. You can feel the heat from the UVB rays. So you want to try to avoid going out between 11 and 3 or 11 and 2 unprotected. All right, you really don't, you should never be unprotected, but really at those hours, you need to protect yourself. And UVB rays do not significantly penetrate glass or clouds. That's why we have cloudy days and we don't see the sun, because they're trapped on the other side. Now UVA, A, think of A aging. Okay, B is burning, A is aging. UVA, look at the arrow. It goes deeper into the dermis layers. Now that's where all the cells are born and then they rise to the top. So when you cause a dark spot down there, years ago, like when you're 17, 18, from a really bad sunburn, the dark spot slowly rises to the top, and eventually they appear on our hands and our face. How come I don't get them on my butt? It's not exposed to the sun. Well, at least mine is. I don't know about Reggie. I've heard of him. Um, but exactly, it's not exposed to the sun. Our hands are on the steering wheel, right? Now, I was at uh, Relay for Life, American Cancer Society's fundraiser, and they had a skin care, uh, skin cancer seminar for us, which was unbelievable. And they said most skin cancer forms on the left side of someone's face. I thought it would be the shoulder or the chest here. But it's on your left side of your face. Everyone. Why? Driving. Driving. So the person who says, well, I work all day. I'm never out in the sun. And then when I'm home on the weekend, I'm cleaning the house all day. And I'm running the kids around. Yeah, but you're driving to work every day. And those sun rays are coming through the window an hour a day. Maybe more. Those UVA rays are so strong. They penetrate the glass. That's why we get um, sunburn in a on a cloudy day, on an overcast day, and that's why our car gets hot on an icy cold day, because those UVA rays come right in and heat everything up. So let's learn. They penetrate against clouds, glass, and clothing. Clothing is only an SPF 10. So if you think you're wearing a t-shirt and you don't need to wear sun protection under that shirt, it's not good enough. It is not good enough. I learned that from the American Cancer Society. Penetrates skin more deeply than UVB. It's going down to where the cells are born and formed. <coughs> it has long been known to play a major part in skin aging and wrinkling called, called photoaging. UVA damages skin cells called keratinocytes, and it's in the basal layer of the epidermis where most skin cancers occur. UVA contributes to and they even initiate the development of skin cancer. And it's found in tannins. UVA, that's why you could go sit there and yourself up and not feel really that hot. Because they're UVA rays, not the UVB. Okay?